hi guys now we are going to discuss the second step of cellular respiration that is krebs cycle first step we have discussed the glycolysis next the glycolysis product we got is pyruvic acid so one glycolysis we got two pyruvic acid now the pyruvic acid will diffuse into mitochondria as pyruvic acid is synthesized in cytoplasm so from cytoplasm it will come to mitochondria and this pyruvic acid here i am considering one pyruvic acid and when we will consider the all total atp will multiply into two that's why so one pyruvic acid will convert into acetyl coa so in presence of coa enzymes and co2 will be released that's why this process is called as pyruvate decarboxylation and it is also called as preparatory step this step is not included in krebs cycle so it is called as preparatory step for krebs cycle here we will get one molecule of nadh2 at last we will calculate how much atp molecule we will get so this is the first step of krebs cycle and krebs cycle is also known as tca cycle or citric acid cycle why it is called citric acid or tca cycle because tca is tricarboxylic acid because tri carboxylic three carboxylic group is there in citric acid so first compound form in krebs cycle is citric acid that's why it is called as tca cycle or citric acid cycle so first step will go acetyl coa from here it start acetyl coa will convert into citric acid in presence of citrate synthase so here citrate acid how it is form here oxaloacetic acid is a four carbon compound and acetyl coa is two carbon compound this both will add and will get citric acid so first step of krebs cycle is oxaloacetic acid plus acetyl coa will give citric acid remember that and this is six carbon compound because acetyl coa is two carbon compound and oxaloacetic acid is four carbon compound because pyruvic is three carbon one carbon dioxide is released so we get two carbon compound of acetyl coa so two carbonic compound of acetyl coa plus four carbonic compound of oxaloacetic acid will give citric acid next come citric acid in presence of enzyme aconitase will form isocitrate this is also six carbon compound next isocitrate will convert into alpha ketoglutarate in presence of isocitrate dehydrogenase here six carbon compound will convert into five carbon compound because one co2 is lost now we will get here one nadh as i told you in glycolysis also here also same oxido reductase process is going on so it is get reduced nadh get reduced and getting uh, nadh2 now this alpha ketoglutarate five carbon will again convert into succinyl coa four carbon because one carbon dioxide is released now here one coa coenzyme will be added and in presence of enzymes alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase here also we will get one nadh2 means nadh is reduced to nadh plus now the succinyl coa this is four carbon compound this all are next for the step is four carbon compound because oxaloacetic acid should be four carbon because oxaloacetic acid plus acetyl coa will give citric acid that is six carbon compound now this succinyl coa will convert into succinic acid and this coa will be released coenzyme will be released and here remember gtp will get means gdp will be converted into gtp in case of glycolysis AT, adp was converted into atp here the same thing gtp is nothing but one atp now succinic acid will convert into fumarate fumarate in presence of succinate dehydrogenase here fad will here also oxido reductase reaction is happening fad is reduced to fadh plus fadh2 plus now fumarate will convert into malate in presence of enzyme fumarase ase whenever ase is there means there is an enzyme fumarase now fumarate will the last step of krebs cycle fumarate will convert into oxaloacetic acid and fumarate dehydrogenase the enzyme is called in presence of uh, fumarate dehydrogenase this malate will convert into oxaloacetic acid and further we will get nad plus 
reduce to NADH plus. Okay, so NADH two plus. Now, see, there is no end product of Krebs cycle. Remember this: the end product of glycolysis is your pyruvic acid. But there is no end product of Krebs cycle because the oxaloacetic acid, what we get is nothing. It is getting added with acetyl CoA, and we are getting citric acid. So only the end product of Krebs cycle. is only carbon dioxide because many carbon dioxide is released in crab cycle okay so let's discuss what amount of atp we get from this crab cycle remember this pyruvic acid we actually getting two pyruvic acid from glycolysis so this pyruvic acid will convert into acetyl coa and release nadh means we are getting in preparatory step we are getting two nadh2 but we will not consider here because our krebs cycle will start from here acetyl coa so we will not consider this preparatory step and we will consider it when we will discuss oxidative phosphorylation and here we'll there we'll discuss how one glucose molecule will give 30 atp there we will add all the nadh fadh or atp which is formed in three process that is glycolysis this preparatory step that is pyruvate decarboxylation and krebs cycle okay so let's consider how, how much we'll get atp in krebs cycle so first atp that is we'll get one nadh second nadh third nadh so in one krebs cycle we get three nadh two so and second we get one FADH2 and one GTP so GTP is nothing but ATP so as i told you in previous video one NADH is equal to 2.5 ATP and one FADH is equal to 1.5 ATP in recent book if you refer they will give 2.5 and 1.5 but if you refer old book they will give one NADH will give 3 ATP and one FADH will give 2 ATP but recently Uh, they have proved that one NADH will give 2.5 and one FADH will give 1.5 ATP. So here three ATP, three NADH2 means how much ATP? Three into 2.5 that is 7.5 ATP. Now one FADH into 1.5 means 1.5 ATP. One GTP means one. So total we will get 10 ATP. Okay, these are ATPs. Okay, so 10 ATP you'll get, but remember, this is we are considering of one pyruvic acid. But when we will consider two pyruvic acid, because through glycolysis we got two pyruvic acid. So we will multiply 10 into two. That will be 20 ATP. Thus we can conclude that the Krebs cycle will get in one Krebs cycle we'll get 20 ATP. so we have to exclude the preparatory step and in one krebs cycle we'll get total of 20 atp i hope you like this videos if you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and my next video will be on etc electron transport chain and the final step of cellular respiration where we'll discuss how all this nadh fadh you know all the atp how atps are formed lastly one glucose molecule will give 30 atp and we'll calculate the all total the net gain of atp in all the processes thank you